Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Welcome to a new vlog. If you're new here, my name is Isabel. I'm an artist and on my channel, I document my journey to becoming a professional artist because right now I do art part-time and then I have a full-time job. And yeah, so today is Monday. I actually rarely uh, film, start filming my vlogs on Monday. Uh, it's more like an editing day and I, I don't know, I don't always include that in my vlog. Um, but today, I don't know, I felt kind of ambitious and figured I would start the vlog here. Uh, this morning, before I spend the afternoon, or pretty much the rest of the day editing, I have to run a few errands, so I'm going to try and take you with me. And yeah, so let's get going. <laughs> to the post office finally mailing in that drawing I made for my parents but I had to borrow a friend's bicycle because my one of my tires is flat and I haven't fixed it yet it's in my living room so this week I'm working on several things First, I need to create a drawing for alphabet superset. So we are at letter C. So my basic idea is a cactus under a glass cloche. I want to do a few shorts. Uh, just I'm trying to get back on that train of posting regular shorts on YouTube. You know, getting that momentum back that I lost because I didn't really do that many shorts over the summer. The third thing is I want to start getting ready for art challenges in October. So in October, I'll be drawing every day, but instead of picking just either Inktober or Pixtober, I want to combine the two. So I will look at the prompts for each challenge and kind of pick and choose the prompts I want to work on. So this week I wanted to start getting ready because when you do a long challenge, like a daily challenge, whether it's 30 days, 100 days, which I've done before, 
it makes your life really easier if you have everything prepared in advance. By prepared in advance, I mean having your prompts laid out and having a clear idea of what you're gonna be drawing, whether you put it in words or even do a little sketch so that on the day you need to, you're gonna draw or paint, you know exactly what you're gonna do. You don't have to think about that. I like to complete two or three drawings ahead of time just to give myself a break and also say something happens, who knows, life happens, I have a little bit of a backup and I don't know, you could consider that cheating but I don't think it is because you're still showing up, you know, showing, sharing your work online every day and being part of the challenge and yeah, the goal is to finish the 31 days but I think even if you did half of it, it's still really, really fun and you know, it can help you create a body of work, help you build a portfolio, improve a skill, try something new. It is the season of art challenges and I think it's really fun. So that's the kind of the last thing I want to work on is preparing for those challenges this week. Um, I'm going to choose my prompts and get down some ideas on paper and then I still have next week to sort of prepare. I think next week I'll do the two or three drawings in advance that I want to have ready um, in case I fall behind for some reason. So yeah. Isabel from the future here. I was in the middle of editing the video and I realized I didn't show you guys my preparations for my uh, October art challenge smash up of Inktober and Peachtober. So let me show you real quick. So I went through the prompts for Inktober and Peachtober and selected the prompts that I felt most inspired by. So I made a list with a timeline that I will check each day kind of to keep track of my progress and what I have left to do and um, so on top I have each prompts the one marked in pink are from Pictober and then the ones are called in black are from Iktober so for let's see if we can I can show you closer day one is B day two is cosmos day three is path Coral, day 4 is Dodge, 26 Ladybug, 27 Beast, 28 Sparkle, 29 Float, 30th Moss, and 31 Spooky. And then in this notebook, which I've been using for my art challenges, I wrote down again the list of prompts and I started writing down ideas and doing some very rough flow sketches. I still have a few words. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. So, but I'll finish that next week for sure. And yeah, so that's kind of what um, is gonna be happening next month. I almost forgot to mention that Furry Little Peach just did a video on how to prepare for her October challenge, Peachtober. Um, so yeah, she gives great advice, ideas on each prompts and i'll put the video in the description below and you can go check it out i just got a package in the mail and it's a fun one it's some art supplies from bleak arts materials so let's open it shall we So I got this little, I know it's plastic, I'd like to get one in ceramics 
But for now, I just wanted to get something. I could mix some um, acrylic gouache in uh, that had, you know, the little dividers like that. Uh, just when I experiment with it. Uh, yeah. And I got two sketchbooks. I got a landscape sketchbook from Art Creation. So I wanted to try, I've never tried this brand of sketchbooks. I really wanted to try it. I saw another artist using their sketchbook. And um, so I got two sizes, the landscape and then the this size. I got it in green because I'm obsessed with green right now. <laughs> And then last but not least, I ordered a couple colored pencils. Again, I'd like to keep experimenting with some acrylic gouache and I like to combine it with uh, colored pencils. And then I got a couple of Unipin fine liner pens. I got them, let's see if I can show you closer. Uh, one is a 0, 0 0.5 and one is a 0, 0 0.3. I've been ex experimenting a lot with different pens because I used to only use micron pens and I'm discovering there's other things out there. And I think it's good to just, you know, try them out <laughs> and see what I like best. So that's what I got.
Thank you so much for spending some time with me this week. I do appreciate it. Thank you for watching the video, especially if you watch till the end, because it does make a difference for my channel. Let me know in the comments if you intend to participate in any of those art challenges coming up in October, or maybe a combination of that, just like I'm doing. And in the meantime, thank you so much for watching the video again. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, share it with your friends. And I'll see you, if not in the comments, I'll see you next week for a new vlog. Bye.